guys, Reina here from Easy Trade RC. Um, we have a new job here from Anton, one of our customers. He brought in his uh, very beautiful 32cc Roven Baja, and it is coming in for some bling and it's coming in for a full engine port. It is a 32cc, already packs a mean punch, but we're going to streamline that into higher RPMs better pull off and uh, turning it into a mean machine it's also getting some alloy parts the alloy brace here at the back alloy brace around the pull starter to just mount everything nice and strong it's also getting an alloy um, carburetor manifold or isolator block what some people call it but yeah watch this space so first thing we did here now is we stripped out the engine the rest of the car is there in pieces and in there so now we're gonna strip this engine and well first I think I'm gonna just take all the covers off and clean it on the outside just makes it easier to clean afterwards after it's ported and then we will climb into the insides and start porting okay so we got the motor out of the car this is the motor that we will be porting today. It's a 32cc. You can immediately see that because of these transfer ports. 32cc has these transfer ports. The 36ccs that we've seen so far, they are built into the cylinder. You can't remove the transfer port. Um, so you can't get in there to do very, very nice porting, uh, which makes the 32 really, really nice. So all we're going to do here now is I'm going to strip it apart, take all the bolts off, take this engine completely apart and um, we'll take it from there. So we've cleaned off uh, most of the gaskets, all the gaskets that were stuck 
gaskets around these things, gaskets on the cylinder, the crank gaskets. Um, now we can start porting. Number one, what we're going to do is we're going to start porting inside the transfer valves and also the transfer plates. These transfer plates uh, basically just makes the air flow in here and out into the cylinder and then it splits the splits the air there on the inside <clears throat> right what you want to do is you want to make that as, as smooth as possible so if we look in there even this transfer plate if I remove it I hope you can see you see that transfer plate it's quite blunt it's so blunt here so we want it to, to flow nicely so I'm gonna make that as sharp as I can uh, let the air flow there and then also if you look inside the transfer port uh, there's like pieces of metal sticking out and we're gonna clean that up I'm actually dremeling in from this side cleaning up on the inside there and then we're gonna make these ports a little bit bigger left and right so air can flow through faster and smoother um, also I'm gonna take away uh, this sharp edge here I'm gonna make it like a, a v-shaped so that the air can split in that V uh, yeah we'll be doing that on both sides I will send you progress I will make progress videos as we go along okay so I'm done here with the, the transfer port as you can see they're nice and shiny and very sharp uh, there's the one Here's the other one. Check that sharp edge. You can cut your finger on that thing, man. Okay, so that transfers it quickly into here. I took away everything that's in the way inside there. I sharpened this edge here. As you can see, the air just flows through there. Um, I also smoothed out that port at the end there. This one here. <coughs> um, also, yeah, and smoothed out those edges there. Same on both sides, as you can see there, all out of the way. And then we did the intake. Uh, the intake, I just basically smooth over and make it a little bit wider. And then this hole, we're going to drill out just now. Uh, if it's not 3 mil already, I'm going to drill that out 3 mil. And the exhaust port, we made nice and big. Okay, so if you can look there, I made it wider on the sides and then just open it up to the outside the moan most most important is that the air can exit so from this side out is the most important than this this side can be small but the inside is right then uh, it's all good so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to take these little uh, grub screws uh, and they're going to be turned into the top of the crankcase half Actually, before I do that, I'm going to take away this corners here. As you can see there, sharp corners in the way. I'm going to take this corner out, make it nice and round and smooth. Smooth this out a bit. And then I'm going to take those uh, grub screws, screw them in here so that we can uh, put them in their head. And then we will m do match porting. We will make sure that the ports either side line up so that the airflow is nice and smooth. All right. I'll send you guys... Uh, well, well, we'll take the video now of what it looks like when I'm done. Cool. Okay. All done. We cut those away. Sharpen those corners. And what you'll see what we did here is we took this corner away, but here is like a, a dent, if you can see there. So your crank turns this way. So it's forcing the air smoother in that way and the same on the other side. The crank will be moving the other way around. So you'll see the dent is there. So it's like a, I think they call it a turbo port. So the air goes in there quickly. So we cut all that off, smooth that out, smooth that out. And then we match ported the head. As you can see, we made incisions there and there. And there and there to match the the ports there <clears throat> and then also I put a 45 degree angle on this line here so that the air goes in easier all of it to help the air go in easier next up is the piston 
this is the before video I'm gonna light lighten the piston now I'm just taking as much meat out as much metal out in the inside as I can and then we will make a small incision not a very deep incision on the exit side here um, to help get rid of some gases so we can uh, increase the RPM cool be right back okay piston is done and if you can see there it's so shiny but anyway I took out as much as I can there so this is like a millimeter maybe less and then I took all of this out just left enough there to keep the strength uh, even underneath here yeah, you take out everything inside there as much as you can I didn't touch the top and then I did a little groove here if you see this this is your exit port that arrow is your exit port so on the exit port I just drop it by oh, I wonder if you'll be able to see come on focus can you see that dip there it's like half a mil if that so your your air exits faster and it can suck in air earlier yo my back is off <laughs> right next up is this baby if you can look at the size of that and then the size of that yes big difference so now I have to make this that size and then this is also two moles or a millimeter say two moles either side uh, if you add both sides too small so this also has to go bigger this is looks like it's the right size yeah yeah this hole is nice three mole uh, yeah so we're just gonna make this bigger and then we should be able to start assembling tomorrow cool I'll show you what this looks like when I'm when I'm finished with it just now all right I am done with this port it is now the same width as that one it's still a little bit oh sorry I'm not looking on the camera it's still a little bit narrower here but I don't want to go too close here and I believe the most important is how this thing takes it in so it's how your carb can supply through here as you can see I I even rounded the edges there oh, this thing is shiny I rounded the edges there so that um, the flow of the carb can go in very nicely and yeah this thing will suck it up right that's us done I'm gonna clean all this up give it a, a dry brush and then wash it with some diesel so I will uh, assemble tomorrow I will make a video of the assembly and yeah we'll take it from there so I decided to start building now while I'm ahead not the next day so Let's see uh, how far we get.